Hey y'all, welcome to Creekside Cubing. Um, recently I unboxed this puzzle, the Wit Eden 2x2x4 cuboid. I actually have the Rubik's Tower, which is also 2x2x4 cuboid, but this one is in um, the modern, the correct modern, ha, the correct color scheme by uh, modern standards, which is something that I was looking forward to. And I want to, you know, complete my 2x2x4, my 2x2x4n cuboid collection. Okay, so I wanted to, to show you um, the workings of this puzzle and also wanted to, this to be like a sort of like a 2x2x4 tutorial or a walkthrough solve. Now I'm expecting that you will know how to solve um, a 2x2x3. If you don't know how to solve it, it's very easy to learn. Um, you basically only need one algorithm to solve that. And you only need one algorithm to solve this cube as well. So I'm just scrambling it now <clears throat> and not doing any shape shifting moves. Yes, this puzzle does shape shift, um, which I'm ready to do because we have two and two and four. So if we move two to the four, then we can do another turn like that so I'll do some more shape shifting turns I'm not following a scramble I'm just doing random moves so okay I would say this is going to be pretty much scrambled it doesn't get extremely crazy but uh, yeah there we go that looks pretty shape shifted Okay, so what are we going to do? Um, how are we going to solve it? Now, the way I solve the 2x2x4 two two um, is to solve the inner 2x2x2. Two two two. So, okay. Um, I see here a blue and red piece. So I look around for another blue and red piece. It's right here. So, if blue stickers here then I think I need to move it like, oh, not like that, um, like this. There we go. So I have blue, blue, red, red. So here's blue and orange, but we want the orange to be opposite the red. So I need to move it, uh, I need to, I want that to be over here. So I'm going to move it out, um, into the top layer and then move it over here. Move it down and out of the way and back, and there we go. So we're getting close to our first layer being complete. Here's my other blue one, my other blue and orange that is. So I just pop them in, just like I'm doing the first layer of a two by two, and you can ignore these outer pieces here. Now, first, the next, so the next step, if you do two by two as L L O L L or layer by layer, um, would be to get green to face away from blue. So I have one green sticker, um, so it looks like we have a soon case. Green here, here, and back here. So I just do a soon. Oh, I messed that up, didn't I? Um, there we go. I do a soon and you can see I have green orange here, green red there. This green orange piece needs to come here, the green red needs to go over there. So um, I could do multiple algorithms. I'll just do a, a T perm, I guess. And doing that solves the inner 2x2x2 two by two by two, and of course brings it back to its cuboid shape. Okay, so next part. The next part will be just simply ignoring the, this inner, these inner parts because um, they're not going to fully scramble. Um, if that doesn't make sense, just trust me and keep following along. So I'm going to go ahead and solve the top layer. Um, well, let's go ahead and do white, I guess. Here's white, green, orange, and here's the white, orange. So if I move the white, to the white like that, then that pairs that up correctly, and we'll just put this back. Um, let's see, I want to pair up red, white red, to white red. So, 
I move that white red back here and bring this one down and that pairs them up. I bring that over here and put them up and bam, there we go. Um, we have this layer solved. Now you can see it doesn't quite match up right. Don't worry about that. We'll fix that later. Okay, we now have to solve these pieces. So this is one case where you can get where the pieces need to swap diagonally. The other case is where no pieces need to swap. Well, I mean, that is a, a case. And then the other third case is you have to swap two pieces. So I'm actually going to swap two pieces first and then swap another two pieces. Okay. Um, let's see here. I don't know if it really matters. Okay, so the way to swap them, if I remember correctly, would be uh, kind of 2F and then 2R, U, 2R, U prime, 2R, uh, D, 2R, U prime, 2R. Okay, so white face is all good, and this side now has a bar right here. So we want that bar to be facing to the right, and I'll do the algorithm again. 2F, 2R, U, 2R, U prime, 2R, uh, D, 2R, U prime, and 2R. So once again, white face is back to normal, and this face is also solved. So we just line up uh, what we can. So we're going to do, there we go, we got the, all the green and oranges lined up. <clears throat> so now we just need to flip these pieces around. So I'll just do that right now by moving the whole slice as an M prime. Do that and back and again. And it looks like I need to do it one more time. And it is back to being solved. And I'll just show you the other case that you might have would be where you have to swap um, these two pieces with these two pieces. And you can do that but just by doing this, moving over here, doing that again, moving it back, and doing it again. And you can see how that swapped those pieces. So that's really pretty intuitive. Not really an algorithm. I could write it as an algorithm, but quite intuitive. So that's how you solve the 2 by 2 by 4 Hopefully you found this um, helpful if you're having trouble with it. But um, yeah, a fun puzzle. And I look forward to, con to uh, continuing to fill my 2 by 2 by n um, cuboid collection. So thanks for watching. I'll catch you all later. Bye.